So, I'm on page 301. You don't have your book here, so... And we're going to do number 2B. All right, 2B. The equation is this. It's already pre-balanced for you. If you did not do the homework, write this down. Okay, so here's the balanced equation that they gave you in the book. And the, the instructions were, write all possible mole ratios, all right? And it's as simple as this. And here's how you do these bigger problems like this. Is I'm going to start with the beginning. I'm going to say 4 moles of NH3 to 6 moles of NO. That is one possibility. Ammonia to nitrogen monoxide. But then another possible is flip it over. Six moles of NO to four moles of NH3. Because you're going to have two possible mole ratios between those two, correct? Now, keep moving across using this one to start with. So then we can have four moles of NH3 to 5 moles of nitrogen gas. Or, what can I do with this ratio? Right. Of N2 over 4 moles of NH3. These ones with 4 different elements in it get fairly long. And then finally, I go with this one to this one, 4 moles NH3 to 6 moles of H2O, or flip it over. That's all they're asking in these problems, is for you to recognize what the mole ratio possibilities are. So, I've done all the mole ratios that are possible with this one. So then, I'm going to move over to the nit nitrogen monoxide. And I'm going to start with 6 moles of NO to 5 moles of nitrogen gas. I don't need to worry about this one, do I? The I don't need to worry about this combination from this point on because I've already done it, correct? That's why I'm working my way across. And then I make a f I just flip this over. And that's why they're saying all possible combinations. All right? So I've done nitrogen monoxide to nitrogen gas. Now I'm going to do nitrogen monoxide to water. Six moles H2O, or we flip it over six moles. H2O over 6 moles of NO. And then finally, so we've done all the combinations, and the, the number is going to get squished down. So now we're doing the final combination, and I'll change color again. And let's go with, let's go with a nice blue. 
So now I'm going to work right here. What's the count? I've already done combinations between N2, NO, and NH3 because I've worked across from left to right. So all I have is this combination left right here. So 5 moles of gas, nitrogen gas, to 6 moles of water. And what's the last combination? Right. Flip them over. That's all you're doing on these types of problems. And what do I call the mole ratio? What's my name for it? Oh, swinging door. It gets you from one place to another. So if you were to become a Mr. LaSource student, you've got to go through the door to get there. You're no longer one of mine, you're one of his. And if somebody came from here, it's a different ratio. It's, it's Prindle to La Sorsa, where you're going from here, it's La Sorsa to Prindle. So I cancel out. All right. So those are big, long, just to get you to recognize what a mole ratio is. And number three on that assignment was, what's the mole ratio used for? To get from one reactant to another or another product. And last night's assignment on the chapter review was pretty much the same except for question three. And where am I going to put it? I guess we'll do it right here. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. So this is page, this is the other part of the assignment last night, 320, number 3. And they give you the following equation, Na2CO3 plus CaOH2 goes to make 2. NaOH plus CaCO3, That's correct. Now the instruction was determine the two decimal places the molar masses of all substances evolved. Then write the molar mass as a conversion factor. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this first one here, but you have to do it for all of them. I'm doing the molar mass it'll come back on for that all right so grab your periodic tables now they said the two decimal places when they post the key it won't be the two decimal places but we're gonna do it that way here so how many sodiums do I have in N2, Na2CO3. Somebody tell me how many sodiums I have. Two. How, what's the molar mass of sodium from the periodic table to two decimal places? What do you got? 22.9. Two point nine nine in real life we are going to use all right how many carbons I have one what's its molar mass to two places twelve point zero one and oxygens how many How many oxygens? How many oxygens in this one? Three. And to two decimal places, 15.99. Yeah, I guess we'll call it that. It could be 16 if you want it around. 
So now you add them up two times. So this is going to be what? Um, nine, nine. So somebody do the math quickly to two places. Back in the old days, my students did the work. 45.98. This is 12.01. What's the bottom one? 47.97. Add them up. Somebody to add them up. Okay, so 105.9, whoop, 0.97 grams per mole, one mole, hold on, let me restart that. So, it's going to be 105.98 grams of Na2CO3 per one mole of Na2CO3. And this is the key. You have to write all the units out, including what substance you have. All right. Then what would be another conversion factor of this right here? What do we do? Flip it over, right? Another conversion factor of this is one mole of Na2CO3 has 105.98 grams of Na2CO3. So that's what, but they now they want you to do it for this one, for this one, and for this one. You can ignore this too. It does not affect the problem. Ignore this. But I'll let you finish that at home again tonight. All right, today we're going to do mass to mole calculations. We're adding a step. You've done these separately. Now we're going to put things together. Before you've converted from moles to mass and mass to moles, and we've gone from mole to mole. So now we're going to start putting this together. And here's what we got. The first step in the industrial manufacture of nitric acid is the catalytic oxidation of ammonia. Is this balanced? I'm going to hit pause. And